Hey everyone, Bo here with a qu- with a, another Rocky Metal Disciples RMD podcast. <laughs> Today we're going to still talk about Heavy Metal Day. So, as before, I think that Heavy Metal Day should be September 18th, 19... I mean, September 18th, 2012. My bad there. The reason for this... My reasoning for this, for like us having a heavy, a heavy Metal Day on this date, is because this was the same date of the release of Black Sabbath's second album, Paranoid. The many... Many which consider it to be like one of the first heavy metal albums ever to be con- made, one of the first metal albums ever to be made. So that's why I see I feel as though we should have it be that day because we are commemorating it by celebrating it using example as you know one of the first metal ha- albums to ever come out. That's why you know I did this, and I want to respond to some comments just really quickly. Uh, People were talking like t- people talking down last time, and that was because like I made a forty-two second unedited podcast that really, really just wasn't like, and I, I even forgot to ad- edit it. I was gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna edit it, and then I just didn't even edit it at all. So it was like, what the heck? But like, I didn't feel like uploading, and I was just really tired, and like, so yeah, you know, I, I wasn't like, I wasn't like talking like enthusiastically as much as I am right now so so like I mean you know people are going like no man the crabby talking is what's cool about it or you need someone who can talk better no offense and like I explained before I was I wasn't feeling well you know I was kind of tired I was really tired and I just felt like I needed to get this message out there so I'm telling you again right now heavy metal day on Facebook uh, heavy metal day Facebook page has been set up set up. So if you like this idea, if you are in favor of it, go and support it by liking it then. Because then you're telling yourself and everyone else that you are in support of us having this idea. And like some people might get the idea, well, you know, how is this possible? How are we gonna have like a heavy metal holiday all over the world, you know? Because this isn't gonna be like a national thing, this is gonna be a worldly thing. So well the thing is like it doesn't have to be recognized by any government. It doesn't have to be recognized by any government. I mean, if it gets to that point where it's like as big as Christmas, which I highly doubt ever will, but like, it would be something. It would be something if it could get as big or as popular as that. Only time will tell for, for you know, something like that to occur. But like, per- I personally, it doesn't matter to me. As long as there are plenty, of, uh, there's, there's enough metalheads who hear this idea and they like it and they celebrate it one way or another then I'm fine with that the other thing is like this might take a while too like with the Rock and Metal Disciples this that this might also take a while as well because like I was talking to some someone I know and he, he was saying like he was he, he brought he, he brought like some kind of a point like about how Christmas like the way we know it now didn't like instantly came into effect. It came into effect over a period of time and changes and stuff like that. So like, I'm not expecting this to pick up either. But then again, that was like dark ages, so there was no Facebook or it way inter- interstellar way of communicating. But besides that, I just think that we need our own holiday or we we need some kind of like day in which we can commemorate metal music and like. Bring it up again with the, uh, you need someone who can talk better, no offense. Um, well, you know what? I mean, I don't have to be the only one who's making podcasts representing the RMD. You know, like, the, st- like the very minimal way of knowing or filling yourself with the idea. You see, the Rocky Metal Disciples is still in a bubble. It's an idea still. It only exists on cyberspace. So, it's like... It only exists in cyberspace, so it is not really like in reality yet. It's still, and in some way, it's still an idea. I mean, there's no like physical way of like saying this is like an organized structure yet. There's only like 
a few dedicated people who I know from different parts of the from different parts of the world who are dedicated to this. Other people, you're just affiliated with it. So you know what? I mean, I feel as though perhaps people should get involved more. And I've been trying to get to that, but, you know, here it is. So, how can you get involved? Well, I want to make more podcasts about how you can get involved. But one way you can get involved is make some podcasts of your own. In fact, make some videos of your own. You know, you be a vlogger or be an RMD blogger representing the idea of the RMD. So you can contribute too. You know, you can make your own artwork too. You can make your own artwork contributing to the RMD. You can make your own media entertainment contributing to the, the, the RMD. You can make songs about the RMD. You know, anything is possible with this. You know, you just need to realize that you can get involved too. It doesn't have to be just a small group of us. That's not what this is right now. It has. It could be. A, it could be a community-based thing. So if you want to make some podcasts, go ahead. Or you can also, and this is my thing too. You can also go ahead and take my podcast and put up on your channel to help spread the idea of the RMD around the Rock and Roll Disciples. So thank you for listening to this podcast. I hope you enjoy it very much. Peace out. And for this heavy metal day, September eighteenth, two thousand twelve. Keep it metal. Bye.